good morning i am ms devi mani working as an assistant professor in the department of mathematics erode sengundar engineering college perundurai now i am going to see the topic higher order linear differential equations with constant coefficients here the general form of a linear differential equation of the nth order with constant coefficient is uh, d power n y by d x power n plus k1 into d power n minus 1 into y by d x power n minus 1 plus k2 into d power n minus 2 into y divided by d x power n minus 2 plus etc plus k n y equal to x here k1 k2 up to k n are constants in the same way the general form of the linear differential equation of the second order is d square y by dx square plus uh, p into dy by dx plus q y equal to r here p and q are constants and r is a function of x or constant the symbol d stands for the differential operator uh, that is we denote dy by dx equal to uh, capital D into Y that is D by DX equal to capital D so DY by DX equal to capital DY then D square Y by uh, D square Y by DX square equal to capital D square into Y etc. Uh, so we denote the equation 1 by D square plus P into D plus Q into Y equal to R. The complete solution of this equation is uh, y equal to complementary function plus particular integral. The complementary function is um, uh, any different any equation that is a second or that is a quadratic equation having two roots. Uh, this roots uh, may be real and different and the second case is roots are real and equal. Third one is roots are imaginary. Roots are real and different that is M1 and M2. Two roots are M1 and M2. And M2. This M1 and M2 are real but different roots that is M1 not equal to M2. Then the complementary function is A in T power M1x plus B in T power M2x. The second one is roots are real and equal that is M1 equal to M2 that is equal to small m. Uh, then complementary function is Ax plus B into E power Mx or A plus Bx into E power Mx. Then the third case is roots are imaginary that is alpha plus or minus i beta. Then the complementary function is E power alpha x into A cos beta x plus B sin beta x. Now we see the problem that is uh, type 1 problem is um, the right hand side of the given differential equation is 0. In this case um, we cannot find the particular integral we find only the complementary function this complementary function is the complete solution. The first problem is uh, d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equal to 0. Uh, the, now we write the axillary equation for the given differential equation. Uh, the axillary equation is m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. Now we factorize this equation. We have m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0. That is m equal to 2 comma 3. Here there are two roots m1 and m2. m1 equal to 2, m2 equal to 3. The roots are real root but different roots. So the complementary function equal to a into e power m1x plus b into e power m2x. That is uh, uh, complementary function equal to a into e power 2x plus b into e power 3x. Uh, so okay, there is no particular integral therefore the complementary function is the complete solution therefore the complete solution y equal to a into e power 2x plus b into e power 3x. Now we see the second problem. The second problem is uh, solve d square y by dx square minus 6 into dy by dx plus 13y equal to 0. We write the given differential equation as uh, d square minus 6d plus 13 into y equal to 0. Uh, now we write the axillary equation that is axillary equation is m square minus 6m plus 13 equal to 0. Uh, we cannot directly factorize this equation so we are using the formula m equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here a equal to 1, b equal to minus 6, c equal to 13. We substitute uh, a, b, c in this formula we get 
3 plus or minus 2i that is alpha plus or minus i beta here alpha equal to 3 beta equal to 2 that is the roots are imaginary so we have the formula complementary function equal to e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x mm, here uh, that is 3 plus or minus i into 2 that is alpha plus or minus i beta alpha equal to 3 beta equal to 2 so complementary function equal to e power 3x into a cos 2x plus b sin 2x therefore the com complete solution is y equal to e power 3x into a cos 2x plus b sin 2x now we see the third problem uh, that is solve d square plus 1 into y equal to 0. Here the given condition is y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 1. These conditions are initial conditions. Um, uh, here uh, the given differential equation is d square plus 1 into y equal to 0. Now we write the auxiliary equation for this differential equation that is m square plus 1 equal to 0 m square equal to minus 1 m equal to plus or minus i therefore uh, here also the roots are imaginary therefore the complementary function is e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x um, here alpha equal to 0 beta equal to 1 so e power 0 x into a cos 1 x plus b sin 1 x that is equal to a cos x plus b sin x um, here the right hand side equal to 0 so we cannot find the particular integral the com so we have the complete solution is only the complementary function therefore the complete solution y equal to a cos x plus b sin x that is y of x equal to a cos x plus b sin x hmm. here the given initial condition is y of 0 equal to 0 now we substitute this initial condition that is x equal to 0 for this complete solution we have y of 0 equal to a into cos 0 plus b into sin 0 we know that sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so y of 0 equal to a into 1 um, that is y of 0 equal to a uh, which implies uh, given that y of 0 equal to 0 so a equal to 0 uh, second initial condition is y dash of 0 equal to 1 so we are uh, differentiating the complete solution with respect to x we have y dash of x equal to minus a sin x plus b cos x now we substitute x equal to 0 we have y dash of 0 equal to minus a into sin 0 plus b into cos 0 uh, cos 0 is 1 so y dash of 0 equal to b y dash of 0 equal to 1 which implies b equal to 1 uh, using this initial condition we find the constant values a and b a equal to 0 b equal to 1 and now we substitute this uh, a and b value in the complete solution that is so y of x equal to 0 into cos x plus 1 into sin x so y of x equal to sin x this is the complete solution um, whenever the initial condition is given using this initial condition we find the constant value in the complete solution uh, finally we get the answer is y of x equal to sin x then the fourth problem is solve d cube y by dx cube minus 6 into d square y by dx square plus 11 into dy by dx minus 6y equal to 0. Mm, that is d cube minus 6d square plus 11d minus 6 into y equal to 0. This is a cubic equation so we are having three roots. First we using synthetic division we find one root uh, we first check uh, m equal to 1 is a root or not um, here m equal to 1 is one root uh, so we having the remaining quadratic equation is m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 we are factorizing this quadratic equation we have the roots m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0 already using synthetic division we find m equal to 1 is 1 root so the roots are m equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 all the three roots are real roots and also different roots uh, so the complementary function is complementary function equal to a in t power m1 x plus b in t power m2 x plus c in t power m3 x here m1 is 1 m2 is 2 m3 is 3 therefore the complementary function is um, y uh, complementary function equal to a in t power x plus b in t power 2x plus c in t power 3x 
here right hand side equal to 0 therefore there is no particular integral uh, therefore the complementary function is only the complete solution the complete solution y equal to a e power x plus b e power 2x plus c e power 3x in the same way we are solving the remaining problems the problem 5 6 7 and 8 then the next type is right hand side is exponential term that is e power ax in this type we have the particular integral equal to 1 by f of d into e power ax in this f of d we replace d by a uh, that is 1 by f of a into e power ax here the problem is uh, solve d square minus 4d plus 13 into y equal to e power 2x. Mm, here uh, the complete solution y equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Here the right hand side we have exponential term so we find the particular integral. Suppose the right hand side is 0 then only uh, the complementary function is the complete solution. We cannot find the particular integral but in this problem we have the right hand side is um, exponential term. So the formula for particular integral equal to 1 by f of d into e power ax. In this f of d we replace d by a we get particular integral equal to 1 by f of a into e power ax. First we find the complementary function. Uh, so we write the axillary equation for the given differential equation. The axillary equation is m square minus 4m plus 13 equal to 0. Um, we cannot directly factorize this equation. So we are using the formula that is m equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4, c equal to 13. Substitute all these values in this formula, we get uh, the final answer is 2 plus or minus i into 3. That is the roots are imaginary, that is in the form of alpha plus or minus i beta. Here alpha equal to 2, beta equal to 3. Mm, so the formula for complementary function is e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. Here alpha equal to 2 beta equal to 3 so complementary function is e power 2x into a cos 3x plus b sin 3x. Then we find the particular integral. Particular integral equal to 1 by d square minus 4d plus 13 into e power 2x. Here replace d by a. In place of a here we have 2. So replace d by 2. Um, that is 1 by uh, d equal to 2. So d square is 4 minus uh, 4 into 2 is 8 plus 13. 1 by 4 minus 8 plus 13. That is 1 by 17 minus 8 into e power 2x. That is equal to 1 by 9 into e power 2x. So uh, a particular integral is 1 by 9 into e power 2x. Already we find the complementary function is e power 2x into a cos 3x plus b sin 3x. Therefore, the complete solution y equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Mm, complementary function uh, is e power 2x into a cos 3x plus b sin 3x plus particular integral is 1 by 9 into e power 2x. This is the complete solution of the given differential equation. Then the next problem is uh, 4d square minus 4d plus 1 into y equal to 4. Here the right hand side is uh, we have the constant term that is not equal to 0. We have constant term. So we write this constant term is 4 into e power 0x. Uh, that is we first find uh, the complementary function we write the axillary equation for the given differential equation is 4m square minus 4m plus 1 equal to 0 now we factorize this that is 4m square minus 2m minus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 we are taking in first two term we are taking uh, 2m as outside so 2m into 2m minus 1 minus in third and fourth term we are 